James Mondes, thank you for joining me today. Really amazing beverage ahead. It's called a Pinot de Charente. This is from the producer Jean Fillon. Stay tuned and I'll tell you more about this. Very excited about this particular Pinot de Charente, and I, I definitely phrase it that way. I'm not really starting off by saying this is a dessert or this is a uh, spirit. It's actually somewhere in between. So let me show you on the label here. It does show that this is a dessert wine. This is a rosé version of uh, Vol Pinot de Charente and a 17% ABV back label for you to look at here. A really amazing producer here of uh, spirits. So let me place on a map right here where Pinot de Charente is coming from in France. Now the story begins in about 1589. Apparently a winemaker, we don't know what his name was, I'm sure it was a he, and he uh, accidentally puts in the grape musk, which is non-fermented grape juice, into a barrel, thinking it was empty. Instead it contained Eau de Vie, which is uh, fruit brandy, and thus becomes the legend of this particular beverage. And um, so these are constructed with traditional wine grapes. Now this is 50% Cabernet Sauvignon, 50% Merlot, and uh, also backed up with the Eau de Vie, the fruit brandy, and uh, hence the 17% ABV. And so there's a capture that's slightly different than if this were, say, a port style wine, which would be a vinified uh, grape juice as opposed to a fresh experience of um, you know, the grape must. Now, this is uh, something you're gonna find in a um, white style as well as a rosé like this here. Beautiful color, by the way. This is um, almost this um, rosé-ish, brownish color and um, you know, pinkish uh, brown color, almost this alluring, beautiful coloration. It's uh, quite glorious. And uh, of course you get the red, which is also very nice. I did a pairing of this from uh, say starters all the way up to a dessert course and uh, everything in between actually. And it came out quite nicely. It's something that made me think differently about a Pinot de Charant and to think about how this is a really uh, fantastic experience that could only come from the old world in my opinion. Now. Um, this is something that I think is really elegant and gorgeous and something that has a slightly different capture. Again, the freshness and liveliness to this and uh, get the taste, the, the capture of what um, Merlot and Cabernet taste like in terms of the grape must. So it does express differently when it's vinified and when it is not. So uh, this is a, first of all, I did a pre-tasting, 93 points out of 100 points. So characteristic now is a black cherry, a bit of black plum notes, cashew almond as well as uh, honeycomb notes. Next, the uh, palate characterization. So the Eau de Vie is really contributing to that spicy characterization. Uh, what I would detect is cinnamon, a bit of ground clove. Uh, cherry notes are really evident, it's beautiful and fresh, as well as chocolate and uh, dates as well. So you get a little bit of capture of everything, um, elegantly so, but not cloyingly sweet either. So also, when you think of Pinot de Charente, this is aged 14 months, and eight months of that must be in a barrel, oak barrel. So 750 milliliter, you're not gonna drink as much as you would if it were a glass of wine, right? It's 17% um, ABV, but you really wanna tone it down just a bit and serve in a normal wine glass. This is a regular uh, silhouette, and I think it's a really nice way, of, first of all, smelling the Pinot de Charente. And uh, really, thank you for watching. Let's say connected, this is a brand new year. I hope your year is off to a great start, and your decade is also off to that same great start. And uh, let's stay connected. I'm on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Questions and comments down below. Like buttons down below, so please hit that button. Right up here is the subscribe button. If you haven't done that already, please do so. And uh, again, thank you for your support. And stay tuned for more. Sante.